in your career, don't change everything at once. Some people like to move to another country where they don't speak the language and also change their techno technology stack. That usually doesn't really work out because then you have three things against you. Let's say you are from France and you want to move to Zurich, which is German speaking. Then you cannot speak the local language. That's already like something that's very, very hard to change. Then you need to move. So basically you need to move from one country to the other, which is not trivial and employers like let's say are always very critical about this because they prefer people who already live here where the risk that they like um, don't come after all or cannot move after all is, is much, much lower because those people are already here. They know the local work culture, the language and so on. So basically try to not then also to, let's say you've been doing .NET all your life and then you um, want to go back to Java, which you did for one year during studies or, or so. And if you then apply to Java jobs in a place where you don't speak the language, and you don't yet live there, the chances that recruiters will, let's say, be willing to talk to you or companies will be willing to talk to you is rather low unless it's really there's something super special about you and there is an incredible match, then um, it, it, it can happen. But this is really the exception. So basically, in, in such an example where you have been a .NET developer for most of your career, just go for .NET jobs and really try to convince uh, the company that you are the really, really good fit to this .NET position. You don't yet know German and you don't yet live here, but you already have concrete plans that in two months you'll be living here. You're organized already like some place to stay with friends and you know the place you have been here. You really are sure that you want to move and you already take German courses with some private tutor. I mean, you can get online like a private German tutor or any language really for like $10 an hour. So if you put this then in your CV that you're like daily practicing German and that you're committed to move there by this and this day, this already really removes this like two weaknesses of you. But this other thing, the technology stack, that's very, very hard to like quickly change because well, if you don't have like five years of Java experience, then you don't have five years of Java experience. And I know, like, if you've done .NET, then switching to Java is not that hard because both are object-oriented, statically typed languages that run on the backend and basically have very, very similar principles. However, companies really take a risk hiring anybody. And the lower the risk, the kind of more probable that you're going to be hired. So that's why many, many companies just consider the people that work in the same stack Although there are, of course, examples like smaller companies that maybe don't get that many applicants, they might consider many profiles if, if like the inbound uh, traffic they get is, is not too high, then they might even speak to people that look not so good on paper, but they will invest half an hour to talk to the person. But usually companies that have like their job online, it's like cr crawled by all kinds of search engines that um, like repost the jobs somewhere else. So those companies really, really get actually a lot, a lot of inbound applications. Therefore, I recommend to really um, do not change everything in your career at once, but only maybe one or two things of so the location or the spoken language or the technology. Um, if you see an example, if you are where you are, like let's say this example in France, and this person, if this person would apply, let's say the person lives in some, in some city, but wants to apply to Paris then, okay, the person speaks native French and the person is already at least in the country. Then if the person says, okay, I want to do more Java because like, I want to go back to it, the probability is much, much higher that it's going to turn out. But um, changing things like too strongly is usually, is usually a bad idea. And I wish you a good day.